Looking forward to it. Thank you so much, Annie. Some good news on the COVID-19 front as we dig into the weekly epidemiology report this morning. Total COVID-19 cases in the state have gone down. The latest numbers from OSDH show more than 15,000 active cases in the state, and that's actually a drop of 15% from the week before when there were nearly 20,000 cases. Meanwhile, the news comes as the spread of COVID-19 plunges another green country city into a state of emergency. Two News Oklahoma reporter Brady Hablib joins us live outside of St. Francis Hospital with what the latest on that emergency declaration means. Good morning, Brady. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, St. Francis is seeing a slight downward trend in new cases, less hospitalizations there as well, but that's not the case for all Oklahoma hospitals. In fact, the city of McAllister is now under a state of emergency after the city's regional health center saw a major surge in COVID patients. ICUs are full capacity there. Ambulances were actually seen backed up at the hospital, according to the mayor. County officials are urging residents to avoid the ER and seek out non-emergency health locations along with getting tested. The state of emergency is effective until Thursday, September 30th. That's next Thursday. The city is currently not mandating any masks, but leaders are urging people to mask up and to also get vaccinated. Meanwhile, back here in Tulsa, St. Francis says that 89% of those who are hospitalized with the virus are not vaccinated. Um, coming up in our next half hour, we'll take a closer look at their latest report. For now, live in Tulsa, Brady Halb, Live 2 News, Oklahoma.